In this lecture, we're going to build out the responder for the list users command. But before we go down and start filling out that function, we know that in order to get data about the users, we're going to need the data library that we created earlier. So let's require it now. var underscore data is going to be require dot slash data because this library, the CLI library, is in the lib directory the same place as the data lib. So now we can go down to the list users responder and start filling it in. If you remember, within our data library, we already have a function called list. That allows us to specify the directory that we want things listed in, and it will go ahead and give us an array of everything there. So we're gonna call that within our list users function. Underscore data dot list and then tell it that we want to list out the users. It's going to pass us back an error and user IDs as an array. If there is no error and there are user IDs and the user IDs have a length above zero, then we'll continue. Otherwise, we can pretty much ignore this command as there's nothing to send back to the user. We want to start with a vertical space to space the response out from anything that might have come before it. So CLI vertical space is get called. Then for each of the users, we want to log out user specific data. So we're going to do a for each loop, user IDs dot for each. And this for each is going to pass us a user ID. For each of these user IDs, we are going to call data read and actually read in that user ID from the user's collection. So we'll pass it user ID and we'll expect back an error or user data. If there is not an error and there is user data, we'll continue. Otherwise, we'll ignore this user. Now we want to construct the line that we are going to log out. So we're going to say that var line equals name colon then we want to insert their name so user data first name then a space and then user data last name now let's add their phone so we want to say phone colon user data dot phone and then let's say checks and we're going to list out the number of checks that they have. But let's terminate this line for now and then calculate the number of checks that the user has on a separate line using separate logic. So we're gonna say var number of checks equals, then we need to check if the checks key is actually defined on the user data object, which it may not be. So we want to say user data checks equals object and user data checks is an array and user data checks length is greater than zero then we'll use the length of the array otherwise we'll default to zero so now that we have the number of checks we can add that to the end of this line so we can say line should be appended with number of checks. Now that we have the whole line in its entirety, we can just log it out. Console log line, and then add on another vertical space. If we look in our data directory, we can see that we have two existing users. So let's try this command out and see if it works. I'm gonna start the app back up. make this screen a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to ask it to list users. And there you see, we have two users, John Smith, first phone number ends in an eight, and he has four checks. The next user, John Smithy, has a phone number ending in a nine, and he has two checks. Now we can tell it to exit, and it will do so. So the list users command is working fine now and we can move on to the next lecture.